massive WWE 2K news when it comes to the community creations, and today I'm gonna be talking about it in this video. That's fatal. What's going on, Proper Squad? Fatal Steven here, and I'm gonna show you guys a clip, and I want to see if you guys notice anything. Playing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. Did you guys catch it? Here, I'll play it one more time. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. If you guys noticed that that was a creator wrestler being called Finn Balor, being called by the actual in-game name. Now, some of you probably watching being like, what's the big deal about that? Why is that a big deal? Well, originally, whenever there was a creator wrestler, only commentary could be added to them based off of their in-game model. So if there was a creator wrestler of Edge, the commentary would be talking about Edge properly, but the call name would either be silent or some made up name that was used from the call name list. So for example, Jeff Hardy would be called Jeff Harvey or just Jeff. There wasn't a way to call them Jeff Hardy like the actual announcer would call them. But adding commentary to these creator wrestlers were not a problem. Well, there has been a solution to all that, and now creator wrestlers can get their full call name and commentary. They will be an exact copy of their in-game counterpart. So a creator wrestler of Edge will be an exact copy of the in-game model of Edge. This is huge. So how do we get to this point? It all started with World's Finest messaging me at work, letting me know that they found a way to give creator wrestlers their actual call name, and he sent me that Finn Balor clip. Now, I was at work, so I couldn't really, you know, test it myself and all that stuff. I then was in the DMs with What's the Status? And What's the Status let me know that they have also figured out a way to make credit wrestlers into an alt. And this is the funny part. This was here the whole time. It was right under our noses. User Blinded by Grace, super talented modder in the community, one of the top modders in the community. Blinded by Grace is like the person that has taught a lot of these other modders how to do what they're doing. Well, Blinded by Grace lets What's the Status know that yeah, you could have done that the whole time, man. Instead of just adding commentary to the creator wrestler, you could have just made them an alt to their counterpart in game. And thus the game would just do it for you. And you would have commentary, call name. They would copy the move set immediately. They would have the same attributes. They would have the entrance, all that good stuff. That's all these PC players had to do were just make the creator wrestler an alt to their in game counterpart. So what's the status sent me an example of his Seth Rollins NXT creator wrestler being an alt to Seth Rollins in game. So what's the status uploaded the Seth Rollins creator wrestler to the community creations for me temporary for me to download and test it myself. So you cannot download the Seth Rollins NXT right now. It's, it was it was strictly for testing purposes. I downloaded the Seth Rollins no problem. The preview looks super buggy. Uh, so I downloaded the Seth and then what's the status deleted it. The best part about these downloads is once you download it, that is all you have to do. You don't got to set it as an alt attire. You don't got to touch anything. You don't got to edit anything. It is already set as an alt attire. You just got to go to that superstar, click on them, and then you will see that the creator wrestler pops up as an alt attire. And once you click on that, go into play mode, click on Seth Rollins, they will have an alternate attire, which will be that creator wrestler. And when choosing that creator wrestler, they now come out exactly as a copy to their counterpart. So this Seth Rollins NXT creator wrestler plays exactly like Seth Rollins in game right to the moveset and the attributes. It's insane, and this is a big find. So what does this mean for the future? Well, it means that all these updated creator wrestlers can now be alt attires to their in-game counterparts and play exactly like their in-game counterparts. So I just want to update you guys on this. Stay tuned for future videos. I will obviously keep you guys in the loop and up to date with what creator wrestlers get uploaded that can now be alts to their in-game counterparts. So be sure to like the video and subscribe to stay up to date. Fiddle Steven note, stay proper. Peace. Oh no. Oh yes. The visionary, the revolutionary Seth freaking Rollins has arrived. Well, certainly Seth Rollins has unmatched accolades, a championship resume, but a wardrobe that leaves a lot to be desired. Saxon, last time you saw that much drip, you called a plumber. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! Yeah! 
So he's been called the Kingslayer, right? The architect, the Messiah. How about we give him a new nickname, Mr. Delusional?